Hi, I'm Nicola and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing, installing and hopefully making the perfect cappuccino with the Sage Barista Touch coffee machine. So firstly, here is a quick look around the box. The box image is stainless steel, but I know, and we can see via this sticker, this machine is black stainless steel. We can see all of what the machine technically has to offer and all of the accessories included too. I'll go over more later, but let's get it unboxed. As I remove the packaging, I'm going to explain why I chose the Sage Barista Touch. Well, I've had a Sage Bambino Plus for over two years and have really enjoyed it. But since moving house, I have a bit more worktop space. So I decided it would be nice to have a larger machine that grinds the coffee beans as well. So a quick look around the machine and it's gorgeous. It looks stunning and I love the colour and the branding is very nice and subtle. This here is the hopper where the beans are grinded and it attaches by placing it on the top and twisting to lock into place. This scroll wheel is used to adjust how fine or coarse you'd like the beans grinding. I'm excited to play around with these settings for the perfect grind. I love this neat storage space for the tamper to go in. The tray is removable for easy emptying into the sink and there's this little pop up to remind you when it's full. And behind it, there's this really handy tool storage so all the little cleaning bits won't get lost in the kitchen drawers. Looking around the back, there's this two litre water tank, which is huge, so you won't need to be filling it up all the time. And the tank does remove from the machine when it's time to fill up. It also has a handy handle to make it easier to carry. Here's the milk wand and the base underneath has a thermostat so it can measure the milk temperature automatically so you get perfect milk every time. But if you prefer to, you can also use it manually as well. So other than the coffee machine, here are all the bits you get in the box. We have minimal instructions, the razor for measuring the right amount of coffee, the porter filter with one filter basket already placed in it, a stainless steel milk jug, a little cleaning kit with cleaning tablets, brush and bits in. Here we have various filter baskets for single shot or double and a set for fresh ground beans and pre-grounded. It's important to use the right one for the coffee type or the espresso will extract either too fast or too slow. This is a tamper for pressing the ground coffee into the basket and finally the water filter. This fits into the black holder and then clicks into the water tank. Turning it on for the first time, you get this quick demonstration on how to use it. Just make your way through the menu and input your water hardness and it's ready to use. So here it is in the kitchen and it's stunning. I'm so happy I chose this model. The size is perfect for where I want it to go and it looks very professional. I just hope my coffee making skills do it justice. The dimensions are on screen now if you're interested and it weighs 10.3 kilograms. Sage do also do this model in stainless steel but I chose the black so that it matches with the other appliances in the kitchen. I'm also thinking the black may be easier to keep clean too. First thing we have to do is add the beans to the hopper. Here I have some beans from Grind. It's also important to take note of the roasted and best before dates. Make sure they are as fresh as you can get them. So we take the lid off and pour the beans in. Wow, they smell amazing. This is a full 227 gram bag and the machine's maximum is 250. So they fit in there nicely. And put the lid back on. Now turn the machine on and choose which coffee to make. My favourite is a cappuccino, so I'm going to start there. It shows all of the instructions on screen of how to make a coffee in three easy steps. It also shows you what grind size, basket size and milk temperature too. So here I have a double espresso bean basket and I'm going to put it under the grinder and press grind. I'm nicely surprised as it's not actually as loud as I thought it would be. It then stops when it's ground the perfect amount needed. You'll find the little tamper in here. It holds in place but it's also easy to pull out. I think it must have a little magnet in there. Press the coffee in the basket then twist on the machine to brew. This bit makes you feel like a real barista. Place your favourite mug underneath and press brew. The machine will heat up in a few seconds and then the espresso will start to pour. Look at that crema, I'm pretty impressed already. The next step is to froth the milk. I use soya milk instead of cow's milk, so I'm going to give this one a try. So I'm going to pour the milk in and put the jug under the milk wand and press milk on the screen. You can see the temperature going up and it automatically stops once it's hit the desired temperature, in this case 65 degrees. Always make sure to clean the wand with a cloth and the machine will purge every time to keep the wand from blocking up. Now add the milk to the espresso, sprinkle with chocolate and enjoy. Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe and tell me what your favourite coffee is in the comments and I'll see you again soon.